a general property of non-invertible symmetries uncovered, a new relation between quantum information theory and particle slash condensed matter physics. I'm Yuji Tachikawa, professor at Kabuli IPMU, University of Tokyo, and today I'd like to talk about my recent work with Masaki Okada, a graduate student here, which is published in Physical Review Letters recently as one of the editor's suggestion. Symmetry is a key concept to study physical systems. A system is said to have a symmetry when it is invariant under an operation. For example, consider exchanging the north poles and the south poles of all magnets in a system at the same time. The magnetic forces on objects and the energy stored in the magnetic fields are left invariant. This is because the equations governing this magnetic field is invariant under this operation. From about 10 years ago, in particle physics and condensed matter physics, people are actively generalizing the concept of symmetries. One such generalization is the non-invertible symmetry. Traditional symmetry always has an inverse operation. For example, in the case of the exchange of the north poles and the south poles we discussed, if you do the same operation twice, the system comes back to the original configuration. So the inverse operation to the exchange operation is simply the exchange operation itself. A non-invertible symmetry is a generalization where this condition of having an inverse operation is somewhat weakened. Let me illustrate these two types of symmetries in the case of the Ising model. The Ising model is a toy model to explain the properties of macroscopic magnets by considering a chain of tiny magnets called spins. So let's first consider the spin flip. Physical properties of the systems are invariant under the flip of all spins simultaneously. And there is an inverse operation, which again is performed by simply doing the flip again. So a spin flip is a traditional symmetry. Next, let's discuss duality. At a special temperature, by preparing a new spin between two old spins in an appropriate manner, we can construct a new sequence of spins with the same physical properties as the original one. This is known as the duality, and it was introduced in 1941. And there is no operation which completely undoes the duality transformation. Therefore, this duality can be considered as an example of a non-invertible symmetry. This was noticed only recently. We've been discussing about symmetry so far. Let us move on to another important aspect of our work, quantum information theory. Quantum information theory is the underlying theoretical framework of quantum computers and is an extremely active area of research. In quantum information theory, computations in a quantum computer is modeled as a sequence of operations such as quantum gates and measurements on qubits. Here qubits are a quantum version of computer memory. Quantum gates are invertible operations on qubits. In quantum mechanics in general, such invertible operations are described by a mathematical concept known as unitary operations. In contrast, the measurement of a qubit is not invertible since it destroys the quantum superposition. Once the box is opened, Schrodinger's cat is either alive or dead, not in a superposition of these two choices. Therefore, it is a non-invertible operation, and in quantum information theory, a mathematical concept known as quantum operation is used to describe such non-invertible operations. Let me summarize. In particle physics and condensed matter physics, we consider two types of symmetries. One is the traditional symmetry, which is invertible, and the other is the non-invertible symmetry, which is new. In quantum information theory, people consider quantum gates and measurements. Quantum gates are invertible and described by unitary operation, and measurements are not invertible and described by quantum operations. Now, it so happens that the traditional symmetry in particle and condensed matter physics has been known to be described by unitary operations. Then, the natural question arises, which is the following. Isn't it that then non-invertible symmetry operations are quantum operations, actually? There was a special case discussed by a mathematician Bischoff and his collaborators in 2016, but no general discussions was made. Here comes our punchline. We showed in very general terms that non-invertible symmetry operations are actually quantum operations. Until now, not many general properties of non-invertible symmetries were known, but we successfully showed, using a widely used framework in theoretical physics, that non-invertible symmetries act by quantum operations in general. As an example, we gave an explicit expression as quantum operation of the duality transformation of the Ising model. 
We hope that it serves as a possible starting point of further cross-fertilization between quantum information theory and particle and condensed matter physics.